Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the 100 facts about me tag and I haven't done a tag in a million years and this tag I've been working on since probably almost two years like that's when I started gathering my facts about myself and I have them in my phone and they've been in my phone for like since like 2012 or something I don't know right when I wanted to do this tag it's been forever and I filmed this once and I never uploaded it because I didn't finish it or something and I never got back around to it so here I am like two years later refilming it and I had to change like half of the facts because some of them had changed like where I worked and blah 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 my life just you know kind of changed so the facts changed so I have an updated version for you and yeah I'm just gonna get started it's actually like negative two degrees in my room Room right now and I'm wearing like this little shirt uh, to be all cute and stuff but yeah I'm freezing so I'm probably gonna talk really fast and be really weird and hyper so I'm just gonna roll on into the facts when I'm eating a meal the meat on my plate has to be on the left side so like it's just ingrained in my brain to not eat the food until it's facing like it's on my left I don't know why it's really weird but that's just how I am I think I'm one of the few people in the world that actually enjoys driving. Like, I don't hate it like everyone else. My favorite animal is a humpback whale. I make extremely weird noises in my sleep. So I'm told. So my dentist like specially made and handcrafted like a night guard uh, that fits my teeth and I'm supposed to wear it every night because I grind my teeth and I never wear it. <laughs> now this is kind of a more serious one but I have a really hard time with letting go of my past as in I'll always be thinking about it and wishing I could go back and change things or wishing I could relive things in my past and it's just no good. I have one dog, four cats, two birds, two bearded dragons, one fish, and a water dragon. <laughs> Starting in my sophomore year in high school, I began writing in a journal every single day, and I continued that all the way up until senior years. I am waiting until marriage. I cannot sleep without the fan on and music playing. I cannot sleep in dead silence. I mean, I can, but I prefer not to. I have had two root canals already. I actually genuinely enjoy being by myself and being alone. I'm super picky about clean plates and cups. If I grab a plate from my, you know, cupboard or whatever it's called, and it has like a tiny little speck on it, I will put it back or I will clean it off. I just can't stand like having any kind of leftover uh, in my cup. I check every single cup and make sure it's like spotless before I put it to my mouth. I don't know why, I just can't do it. You ain't ever seen a little white girl eat like me. I have never broken a bone in my life, knocking on that wood. <laughs> knocking on that wood, knock, knocking on that wood. My car is my happy place, whether I'm blasting happy music and dancing like crazy or I'm playing really sad songs and like about to cry, it doesn't even matter, it's like where I'm relaxed and it's where I can be myself and gather my thoughts and I just I love my car. <laughs> I was a vegetarian for two years, not four, two years, and yeah, I don't know how I did that. <laughs> I have five tattoos currently, but I have many, many more planned. For those of you who still ask me what the JB in my username stands for, it is the Jonas Brothers. I was absolutely obsessed for four years of my life, and I don't regret that. I have divorced parents. Who doesn't? <laughs> I absolutely love to sleep in cars. It is like, I don't know what it is, it's the vibration and the noise and just, I don't know, I can sleep in the most uncomfortable places, like my legs will be everywhere, but I will always be comfortable in a car just because it's a car and I get the best sleep in the car. I collect dead roses, so. Obviously, I love reptiles and they're my hobby and what I spend half the day doing uh, and I love them to death. Winter is my least favorite season because it's just depressing and like it makes me sad all the time and I just, I hate cold weather and I just, that season can not exist. I have no doubt in my mind that I will be a hoarder when I'm older because I have a hard time letting things go, like I said, but like little things that anything that has a memory tied to it, I won't get rid of. And it's, it's bad. I'm going to be a hoarder. I've only had two serious relationships in my whole life. Yay. I am a Christian and I was saved on March 10th of 2010. I am so grossed out by backwash, like I won't even drink after my mom. It's that bad. Like, don't 
put that in your drink. Just keep it in, please. I actually got addicted to my ADHD medication my senior year, so be careful with that stuff because it is serious business. Maybe not addicted, but like very super dependent on it. <laughs> I belong at the beach, I love the beach, I want to live at the beach, I need the beach. In college, I had a ball python named Casper that I hid in my closet in my dorm room because you're not allowed to have pets in college and he escaped for an entire month and that's where he got his name Casper because he turned into a ghost for an entire month and we couldn't find him anywhere and then we finally found him and yeah. I am that girl that gets mean looks from every neighborhood mom because my music is so loud. <laughs> I used to tell people that I broke my nose in the seventh grade to explain why there's a bump on it, but in reality I was just born with it. The number 34 used to follow me everywhere I went. I would see it on billboards, on the time, like everywhere I looked the number 34 was there and so now it's my favorite number. I feel extremely accomplished when I nail every line in a rap song and I know that you do too. Summer is my favorite season uh, besides the bees. I'm sure a lot of people say this, but I really don't ever plan on getting a divorce. Like, I really, really don't want one. You will never see me wear a pearl necklace. My favorite song is The Girl by City in Color because it's tied to a really awful memory that makes me cry every time I hear it, so theoretically it's my favorite song. <laughs> my least favorite song ever on the planet Earth is Raise Your Glass by Pink. If that song is playing, I want to kill myself. I go to a reptile convention a couple times a year with my dad and it's like our tradition and I love it. I am not athletic at all, but I really do love to run and work out. Um, it's just hard for me because I'm just really out of shape. A piece of my heart will always remain in the summer of 2010. I love being stereotyped as like the slutty, ditzy blonde because I also really love to prove people wrong. I of course want to travel the world like everyone else does. Music is honestly like everything to me. It's gotten me through so many hard times in my life and I'm always listening to it. I have to be listening to it at all times. Um, it just makes everything better. I honestly think that animals are 10 times more beautiful and extraordinary than humans will ever be. Um, that's just what I think. I am not a morning person. like. Not even a little. Like, I couldn't even pretend to be a morning person if I tried. I've known my best friend Rachel for seven years now, and we've never gotten in a single argument ever in our entire years of knowing each other. And I think that is a pretty cool thing. I am constantly cracking my knuckles. They can't even crack right now, because I literally just cracked them like 10 seconds ago. <laughs> I don't like water. I mean, like, I'll drink it, but I don't enjoy it while I'm drinking it. I don't like the taste and it doesn't, unless I like ran a mile or something, I really don't enjoy water and I won't actually choose to drink water over something else. I've never gotten a speeding ticket, but I've been pulled over for one twice and I got out of it. Ooh, ooh. My biggest pet peeve has to be ignorance. <laughs> my mom used to put me in really weird summer camps with me and my sister when we were little. And so one time she put us in a, in like a Spanish camp and me and my sister were like the only little white girls there. And I remember it just being really awkward and we couldn't understand anything that they were saying. <laughs> it was really funny now that I look back at it. I always talk on speakerphone. Like you will rarely ever see me talking like with my phone to my ear. When I am feeling sad, I write about it. Writing is just my coping mechanism and it has been for a while. I like to think that I have an exceptional memory and I can remember dates pretty well. I am scared, no, I'm terrified of bees and wasps. Wasps. They ruined my life, I'm not even kidding you. I can't whistle. No, I still can't. I get a really weird sun rash every time I'm out in the sun for too long, like when I go on vacation, and it's just like little bumps and they come on the tops of my hands and my chest and it's really freaking annoying. I am somewhat of an artist and I love to paint and draw and all that jazz. I myself use proper grammar and it really bothers me when people don't know how to. I understand if you're like 15 or like 12. But if you're in your 20s in college and you don't know the difference between they are and there, I probably 
want to walk away from you. I joined a sorority in college and I hated everything about it and I dropped out in like two months. <laughs> I was born and raised in the exact same town that I live in right now. I've never had braces and when I was younger I actually was jealous of people that had braces and I wanted braces and I don't know why. I am a dirty, filthy slob. I'm not kidding. I am just a messy person. I don't care to be neat or clean uh, when it comes to my room and yep. Next fact completely contradicts the previous one. I am also a perfectionist. So obviously not when it comes to cleanliness or my room, but in other aspects of my life I am very... has to be perfect. Here's a weird one. I played Call of Duty, the video game, every single day for at least like three hours after school my freshman year of high school. My sleeping schedule has been off since literally like my junior year in high school and I usually fall asleep around 4 o'clock in the morning like every night. I cannot get back on schedule for the life of me. I've been trying for like four years now. <laughs> I am gonna be 21 soon and I have absolutely no idea what I want to do with my life. My senior year in high school, I ate Nutella for literally three months straight every single day and it was a drug. And I'm not just saying that because it's really good. Like I was literally addicted to it. I thought it had nicotine in it. I craved it. Like I sat in class and all I could think about was eating Nutella. And now I can't really eat it anymore because of how much I consumed. I would eat an entire jar in a week. It was ridiculous. This is one of the most truest of facts of all the facts. I am late to everything. <laughs> everything. I love the smell of blown out birthday candles. If I see somebody crying, actually not even if I see someone crying, I just, I cry at everything. I'm the biggest baby. My tear glands or whatever, my tear ducts are like overactive and they just make me cry at the dumbest stuff ever. I will always stand up for what I believe in, no matter what, no exceptions. Dusk is my favorite hour of the day. Like everyone else, I'm extremely fascinated by the universe and astronomy and space and the planets and the galaxies and I just, it all blows me away. This one's kind of embarrassing, but I had over 40 absences my senior year of high school. All for personal reasons, not gonna get into that, but yeah. Because of the last fact, I could not get my license until I was 18 years old, it was suspended, and it really sucked and I never got to drive myself to high school. For my first job, I was a hostess at a pizza bakery restaurant called Mellow Mushroom. I've been to nine different places outside of the US, mostly Caribbean islands. My first car was a Volkswagen Jetta and it is still what I currently drive. My two favorite movies of all time are Dear John and 500 Days of Summer, both chick flicks. I'm such a girl. My biggest fear is losing a loved one or being tortured. <laughs> I took gymnastics as a kid uh, when I was like, I don't know, like seven or something and I quit because the teacher made me put my hair in a bun and for some reason I, I wasn't having that and I couldn't stand my hair being in a bun so I was like, deuces! Another weird one, when I was a child I used to cut the seams out of all my socks why? I have no idea. I had serious issues as a child and I couldn't stand the feeling of having the seam across my toes. God bless my parents. I am so in love with my pets. They absolutely make my day every single day. I just want to hug them every single time I see them. They're just the pride and joy of my life. <laughs> my favorite car and my dream car is the Nissan 350Z and I plan on having that car one day in my life. Mark my words. <laughs> I'm a very self-destructive person as in I ruin a lot of things going for me and even like physical things I, I mess up and I'm just very self-destructive and it sucks. I saw a counselor from my sophomore year in high school to my senior year in high school and surprisingly I actually really loved it and um, it helped a lot. My freshman year in high school I was absolutely obsessed with nude lips um, and not just like a pretty nude but like actually like drawing concealer like all over my lips. I wanted my lips to be white and it was just the strangest thing ever. I hate sports, politics, and children. Don't you want to be my friend? <laughs> I've never intentionally killed an animal and I never would and I don't understand why anyone would. I would rather be really really hot than really really cold. 
My favorite color is green. My signature clothing piece is my combat boots. They will never go out of style for me and they're just a must have. Me and my sister believed in Santa Claus until 7th and 8th grade. <laughs> Whew, that's embarrassing. And sorry for anyone who believes. He's still real. As a child, I had a pet Newt and I named him Lefty because he was missing his left hand. I am 20 years old and I still get anxiety when I have to talk to other adults on the phone. Like to do grown up things. I still make my mom call everybody and I'm such a baby when it comes to that. I've never smoked a cigarette and I never ever 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 will. Alrighty, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed all the crazy random facts about myself. If you weren't convinced that I was weird before, I really hope you are now. Let me know what your favorite weird fact about me was. I'm really curious to know what you guys thought was uh, the weirdest or the funniest or whatnot. So yeah, go ahead and leave me a comment and that's it. I guess I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!